in Perry counties may not have enough money for mental health services. After a town hall last night, officials say communities are feeling the negative impacts now. Kayla Schmidt has more tonight. Kayla. Yes, Valerie, the community is in fact feeling it. While officials are worried about the money allotted for next year, they also say they can't even help those who need it, like you said now. A jump in people moving to Cumberland County. That's a 10.2% increase from 2010 to 2020. We can no longer meet the needs of this community. But a decrease in state mental health funding allotted for 2024, says Annie Streit, Cumberland and Perry County's mental health admin. A decrease that will create an even larger deficit. We have 84 slots for individuals in residential placement. We have a wait list currently of 90. Residential placement, a supervised home or apartment for people with serious mental illness. Just one example of how the potential impact of cuts could cost key services and the people who need it. Governor Josh Shapiro's office allotting 20 million to the counties, the same as in 2010, but times have changed since then. So really, we're not meeting the needs of our community right now. And that's why we're so concerned about $20 million not being enough. To, to even make a dent in this need. And Strite is worried it will just get worse with the need for crisis services increasing daily. Between 2019 and 2022, it increased by 30% in ages 21 to 44, up that to 78% for people ages 65 to 74, and add to it another looming issue. For the last three years, we've had a higher MA population because of the public health emergency. Well, when the public health emergency ends, individuals who have MA right now will be losing their medical assistance. And turning to county mental health services. Streit says she hopes the state could take another look at the structure of how they allocate funds and to see if it works with an area that's growing fast. We think, well, that's just something everybody deals with. But Their town hall meeting Monday night, she hopes caught some of those eyes. That, that would be my hope is that there would be enough concern expressed to our legislators um, that they would take a second look at it. And Strite tells me the Department of Human Services is having their first allocation meeting April 11. She hopes to attend. Live in studio, Kayla Schmidt, ABC 27 News. All right, Kayla, thank you.